In this video, we will be calculating the area of a parallelogram, rhombus, and a kite. So let's get started with our parallelogram. With this shape, we have two sets of parallel lines. For example, so for what I'm starting to say here is that these lines are parallel to each other and these lines are parallel to each other. And it looks like a rectangle that's sort of been pushed over. So in order to um, calculate the area of all of this space in here, they have its own distinct formula. But before we do it, we need to establish the height. So here is a dotted line with our right angle. And when we're doing an area of a parallelogram, it's A. And then a little P. And our equation is BH. So that is base over height, or base by height, I should say. So let's say, for example, our dimensions here are 20 meters this way and our height is 15 meters so our base will be 20 by 15 equals 300 square meters now let's have a have a, now let's have a look at our rhombus now rhombus is basically a square that's sort of been pushed over and they have um, two sides are parallel and all sides have the equal um, length. So here's our square. What we need to consider here is that there are diagonal lines. So here and here. So for this sake, let's call this diagonal number one and this is diagonal number two. Now when we push our square over, these lines will come become longer or shorter depending on which way you're pushing it over. Okay, so for example, let's say this diagonal here is 10 metres and this one here, you can see it looks longer. Let's say that's 13 metres. Okay, now our, um, our equation for our rhombus is A for area, RH for rhombus, and it's diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. So in this case it would be um, 10 by 13 divided by 2. So that would be 130 and half of 130 so divided by 2 is 65. So this would be 55 square meters. So that's all this shape all in here, all that shaded area. Okay, our last shape is our going to be our kite. Okay, so our kite here is a quadrilateral with two pairs of equal adjacent sides and one pair of equal angles. So that means here's our angles, they are the same, they're just opposite. Here are our equal sides. And here are our equal opposite sides. Now, if we were to actually divide this in half, you would see that we would have a triangle this side and a triangle this side. So by dividing it in half, we can actually easily solve what our kite would be. So AK equals D... Oh, let me change colours. Just to, so I don't confuse you. So it's divide one, which is this black line here, okay, multiplied by divide two. Now divide two is across this way. So from this point to this point, okay, and then we divide that by two. So in this case, let's say this one, divide one, let's say that's going to be 50 metres. Or 50 centimetres actually because that's a pretty big kite otherwise and the other one divide 2 which is here to here let's say that's 20 centimetres so all we're saying here is area K for kite is 50 multiplied by 20 divided by 2 
So let me break that right down for you. So that's 50 by 20 Whoa. is 1,000. Now we're going to divide that by 2. So that is 500 centimetres squared. So that's all of this area, all in here, all in there. Okay, so let's have a go at some practice. So here's our parallelogram. And let's say we have 16 centimetres by 7 centimetres. I want you to work out the area of the parallelogram. Next one is our rhombus, which is similar to our uh, square. I'll just tidy that up a bit to make it a bit clearer. And let's say we have four equal sides and that will be six centimeters. Okay, so area of our rhombus. And last but not least, let's have a look at our kite. Okay, remember we cut it in half. And let's say from here to here, we're talking 45 centimetres. And from here to here, let's go 24 centimetres. Okay, and we want the area of the kite. Okay, have a go.